We've made it back to the World Series here in 2020, and we're taking on the New York Mets today. And the Mets won 85 games this year, so they're a pretty solid squad, but we won 94. They're one of the best teams in baseball. We're going against Jacob DeGrom, who's 2-0, undefeated in the postseason, with nearly 10 strikeouts per nine innings. Now, Sammy Bautista is kind of leading that squad right now for the Mets, but leading the Houston Astros is, of course, none other than Kendall King, the best player in baseball right now, having a historic postseason. No one in baseball has ever had a year just quite like Kendall. Now here with a 2-1 count in the bottom of the first, ball is in and Kendall rubs it to right field, but the right fielder is there and he misses. The right fielder goes for that one and completely misses the ball. Kendall's going to round second base here, going to try to make his way to third. The second baseman gets a throw in, it's into third, and Kendall gets a triple there. Shout out to your boy Kendall King. If you come at the King, you best not miss. Now here in the top of the second, we are in the field and we have a huge deficit to try and overcome. We're down 6-0. Kendall trying to turn the double play here. Gets the ball over to first, and that is just a few steps ahead of the runner. So looking good so far in the field and at the plate. Now after getting a triple earlier in the ball game, here in the bottom of the third, one on and one out, down 6-2. A curveball comes in, and Kendall fouls that one off. Didn't get enough on the bat on that one. Now next pitch in on an 0-2 count, and your boy Kendall King, what is he doing? He strikes out. You haven't seen Kendall strike out too much this year, but over the past few weeks, he started to have way too many swings and misses. Now moving on to the bottom of the six, we're still down 6-3 here. First pitch is in, and Kendall King drives it deep right field. The right fielder's running out of room. Can he get this one? He can't. It's 10 rows deep. A lucky fan caught that one. Let me know in the comments below if you caught that ball. Tell me how you caught it. If you're going to sell it, you're going to put it on eBay. What are you going to do with it? But that's a 363-foot shot, and your boy Kendall King is back up here in the bottom of the seventh, and we now have a 7-6 lead. Now the first pitch is a four-seam fastball way outside. Moving on to a 2-2 count now. Kendall's looking for something good here. It's another pitch that Kendall swings and misses. Two strikeouts in the same game. I don't know when the last time Kendall had that happen, but he does find a way to get on the first base after the ball misses the catcher. So things are looking up for us, possibly here. And we're in the ninth inning. We still have that 7-6 lead. We're trying to preserve it here in the top of the inning. Ball gets hit. It's a dribble to shortstop. Kendall's going to field it cleanly. Gets it over to first base with a showtime feature. And Prince Fielder snags that one. So another good throw for your boy Kendall. But look at this. It's a 7-7 ball game. Bottom of the ninth. Nobody on and nobody out. Kendall King is trying to be a hero here. What can he do against this great pitching staff? So the first ball is in. He's going to use a showtime feature. He's got it lined up and Kendall hits it. This is to the deepest part of the ballpark. Can he get it out of the state and the center fielder's back? That one goes off. Kendall King gets a walk-off home run here in the World Series. Game number one. Unbelievable performance. I told you guys Kendall King is having a historic season. Nobody can stop this man. A huge home run when his team needed it the most. We start the World Series off strong. Kendall gets in a home plate. Everyone is mobbing him. You've got to give it up to Kendall King. When his team needed him, he puts the team on his back. He finishes today with three hits, two runs, two home runs, and two RBIs. That is exactly how you want to start the World Series. So we have a 1-0 lead now going up against Rafael Montero today. He's 2-1. A really good ERA. Isn't really striking out that many people, but look at Kendall's average. 565, 16 home runs, 24 RBIs in the postseason. This man is an assassin, just absolutely killing every single person he faces. Now here in the bottom of the first with one and two count. Kendall's going to hit one out to deep right field, but this one is going to be way too shallow. We thought it was a little bit deeper. The right fielder this time doesn't drop that one, has an easy play. Now we're down 3-2 here in the top of the third. Ball's ripped to Odor. He flips it to us. We go back to first base trying to get another double play. And the runner is so slow, we throw him out by about 15 feet there. Now moving on to the bottom of the fifth, we're down 5-3. We have a runner on, one out. It's the 2-1 count. The ball's in a Kendall. We rip this one to right center field. The right fielder's going back to the right center fielder trying to get it. But it's not even to the warning track. What is going on with Kendall in this fake power? You think he's going to hit one out, but he just can't get it. So we're 0-3 in today's ball game. Bottom of the seventh, still down 6-3. One on, two out, using the showtime feature here. Okay, it's not a home run, but Kendall rips it into the left center field gap. That one's going to move the runner from first all the way over to third. Kendall gets a stand-up double here. We've now got a chance to put some runs on this board. Kendall King coming up clutch when his team needs him the most. Unfortunately, though, we didn't score. The Mets scored again. So in the bottom of the ninth, we got one runner on. We're down 7-3. What is going on? Can Kendall get a base hit and help this team get back into it? He drills one, but it's right to the shortstop. They're going to easily gun Kendall King out. And we're going to have this series tied up at 1-1. Kendall really had a chance to put the team on his back again after that heroic performance in game number one. But we lose by four runs today. Kendall didn't really do well at all. Absolutely was on the struggle bus today. Now moving into game three, it's tied up 1-1. 
We're going up against, we have Carlos Alexander pitching, pitching for us. We have Felix Rodriguez on their side. Kendall's batting average, still ridiculous, but he's got to do better than last game. That's unacceptable from the team captain. When the first pitch is in, Kendall drills it to deep right field, but unfortunately, that's going to be a foul ball here in City Field. Now, with an 0-2 count, he's trying not to strike out. He doesn't strike out, but he gets it right back to the shortstop. Same thing he did at the end of game number two. That's an easy out for the New York Mets. Now, we're 0 for 2 at this point. We had a strikeout. We have a ground out. Here in the sixth inning, Kendall's first pitch is going to watch that one go away. So it's a 1-0 lead here for the New York Mets. One out, nobody on. Ball's coming into the middle of the plate. Kendall's going to try and rip it. He gets it right up the middle. Again, not much power there. Is Kendall hurt? I don't know what's happening with him at this point. Game number one was so strong. Games two and three, he's been okay, but the power is just not there. Maybe he's tired. Maybe his durability is too low. So with an 0-1 count here in the field, Kendall's going to get this one easily. Flips over to first base. Prince Fielder is right there. That's another easy out for your boy Kendall in the field. Trying to get that gold glove ready for next season because we still haven't won that award. But I feel like next year might be the season. So the game is tied up 1-1 here in the sixth. Balls ripped deep into the hole. Kendall's going to throw it all the way from the grass. Can he get him? Of course he can. We have 99 arm strength. We're throwing everybody out. But look at this. Bases loaded. Seventh inning. And the, what is the mascot doing? Is that a voodoo curse? What is he doing? The mascot's trying to put a voodoo curse on us. We've got to prove him wrong. So an 0-0 count, bases loaded. First pitch is a four-seam fastball inside as the game is tied 1-1. One one. Now a 1-2 count, next pitch is coming in. A nice curveball. Kendall gets a hold of it. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have our first postseason grand slam. Bruh. You're kidding me. Drops right in front of the fence. We don't get it. I thought we had the grand slam. So we're going to lose today. We're down 1-2 in the World Series. I don't know what's going to happen next. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Hit the like button to share your support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.